Let's go back to one of our headlines regarding the uh, plight of Muslims in Myanmar. Uh, Jahangir Mohammed rejoins us. He's a director at Center for Muslim Affairs. Jahangir Mohammed, uh, if I want to ask you anything, and that's the lack of uh, action by the international community, who knows what is going on in Myanmar, especially with the most recent developments occurring there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the international community is not interested in the plight of Muslims in uh, Myanmar. They, they're basically interested in trade with Myanmar and opening it up for economic exploitation, uh, just like they did with South Africa. Uh, and the result is that the Muslims uh, uh, in that country are suffering uh, persecution, oppression. Many of them have fled, um, are living in camps, fleeing to Bangladesh. Uh, and um, this is the result of a state-sponsored policy by the uh, Buddhist, uh, fanatical Buddhist, um, Buddhist in power in, in that country. And uh, the, the, their aim is to create a pure Buddhist state. Uh, and this is not uh, mentioned or indeed referred to in the West. Uh, in the West, uh, only Muslims can be extremists and fanatics. Hindus and Buddhists and Christians and Jews uh, are... Uh, not portrayed in that way, uh, and uh, we, we see the results of this in Myanmar. And we now also interestingly see that um, there are attacks on Muslims by Buddhist extremists and fanatics in Sri Lanka, recently attacking uh, uh, halal meat places and uh, slaughterhouses there. So uh, we can see that the rise of uh, uh, Buddhist extremism is particularly affecting the Muslims uh, in that state in Myanmar, but uh, is growing elsewhere as well. And, and uh, there is no analysis uh, from that perspective at all in, in, in the Western media. And here we are thinking Buddhists were peaceful people. Thank you very much. Jangir Mohammed, Director of Center for Muslim Affairs.